For dinner, we're making curry chicken. So, first thing we're going to do, put in a couple of uh, tablespoons of oil in a pan. And I chopped up half an onion and two cloves of garlic. So we're going to put that in along with two teaspoons of ginger. We're just going to stir that up for a couple minutes just until the onions start to get translucent and the spice odor is released. Once the onion is starting to uh, become translucent, I'm going to add, I chopped up four chicken thighs, almost skinless, and these we are going to cook until the chicken turns white. The okay. uh, chicken looks like all the pieces are white. To that, I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of curry. And this again totally depends on how spicy you want it. So, curry. Stir that all up. It smells good. I'm going to put in a cup and a half of chicken broth. About, um, again, half a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up a bit. And a lot of recipes call for coconut milk, but during these times of COVID, no coconut milk. So I'm going to use Greek yogurt a cup and a half. So stir everything in. So what we're doing now is we're finishing letting the chicken cook but also uh, this sauce will thicken. And we're going to cover that and cook it for about 10 minutes. Go. Okay, it's been uh, boiling for about 10 minutes or so. Everything's cooked. Now I'm going to add about a half a cup of frozen peas and it's gonna cook another two minutes. But I can tell right now that the sauce is not as thick as I would like it. So while that's cooking, we had this leftover from, I don't know, skip the dishes or something, cornstarch. So I'm going to use that long, it's probably a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to use a bit of the chicken broth. it up. So now I'm going to stir this into the sauce. My rice I cooked in the microwave so I'm just going to let that thicken up for a minute or two and then our dinner is ready. Here we have the finished product. We have some basmati rice with curried chicken and non-bread on the side.